J.J. Thompson discovered that the cathode ray consists of negatively charged particles called electrons. Cathode ray discharge tube construction. A cathode ray tube is made up of glass. Gases are evacuated from it through a vacuum pump. Two thin pieces of metal called electrodes sealed in it at both ends. They are connected to a high voltage meter. The electrical discharge through gases could be observed only at very low pressures and at very high voltages. The pressure of different gases could be adjusted by evacuation. Cathode ray discharge tube experiment. How it works? Switch on the power source. To produce cathode rays, high potential difference of 10 kV to 20 kV is applied between the electrodes. Pressure in cathode ray tube is reduced to 0.0001 mm of mercury by means of a vacuum pump. When current starts flowing through a stream of particles moving in the tube from the negative electrode cathode to the positive electrode anode, these rays are produced from negative electrode cathode cathode rays. Properties of cathode rays. Cathode rays travel in straight line in the absence of electric and magnetic fields. Cathode rays started from cathode and moved towards anode. Cathode rays themselves are not visible but certain materials like fluorescent Phosphorescent materials glow when hit by them. In the presence of electric and magnetic field, they are deflected in a manner expected for negatively charged particles called electrons. Cathode rays are independent of the nature of the cathode material and nature of the gas present in the cathode ray tube. Hence, from this experiment, it was concluded that electrons are basic constituents of all the atoms.